Hello colleagues, I'm Igor Bordowski, a CAD engineer and instructor. Welcome to our video presentation about the new features of Woodwork for Inventor version 15. Woodwork for Inventor is compatible with three latest versions of Autodesk Inventor. With the new release of Autodesk, we now support Inventor 2025, 24 and 23. The Assembly Copper tool has proven its capabilities not only in woodworking, but also in other industries. Therefore, we have decided to transform Assembly Copper into a separate software with a subscription license model. Soon, Assembly Copper will be available in the Autodesk App Store. You can also download Assembly Copper from our new website, assemblycopper.com, where you can also find manual and valuable support resources. Assembly Copper activation is streamlined through your Autodesk account. Now let's take a look at the new features, starting with a skeleton design. The dress up command now allows the creation of curved faces. The oversize control window displays the size of selected part, its workpiece, and the workpiece with oversize. Edge to edge connections have been enhanced with the addition of a depth parameter, which now accurately represents the connection actual depth rather than simply the thickness of the nested board. The Smart Hardware Library and iBox elements have been revised to correct operational logic. A new dowel component is now available as a part of the Smart Hardware collection. The Rover iBox have been revised. Units defined in design settings now affects material grouping during material replacement. In the Autoplot template file, you can enable saving a drawing as an image for different workflows. Embedding is also available, allowing you to include saved image in various bombs. If you want to share CAD data with non-CAD users, you can generate data exchange formats such as PDF or DXFs and then automatically delete the inventor drawing file, eliminating redundant information. During the drawing template setup, you can copy settings from another template file. The functionality of automatically placed dimensions now allows the use of chain dimension style in addition to the standard ordinary dimensions. Now you can display hole dimensions with the coordinates of vertically drilled holes on one side of the part projection and dimensions of horizontally drilled holes on the other side. Now you can execute autoplot commands, dimensioning, placehole indexes, placehole table individually on a user generated drawings that was created outside of the autoplot command. The position of hole indices can now be defined more precisely, including the option of eccentric placement. The bonding box representing the external dimension of a part is now anchored to the part projection, preventing accidental shifts. The latest bomb up introduces enhanced data viewing capabilities, empowering you to develop custom add-ons for seamless integration with other IT systems. Should you prefer to utilize the older version for any reason, it remains accessible within the design settings. With the introduction of the new keyword, you can now leverage the embedded drawings and pictures across different bombs, streamlining your documentation workflow. Users can create custom applets with assembly copper, iBox insert and smart hardware attachment commands to personalize file names and iProperty values during component copying or renaming. Milling style feature enables the saving of distinct set of milling options, tailored for different tooling scenarios, ensuring flexibility and efficiency in machining operations. Rest milling optimizes machining operations by integrating rough contour milling using larger diameter tool and rest contour machining with smaller diameter tool into a single operation. Edge milling safeguards edge bending from damage by employing milling tools with opposite spinning directions. The 
This approach ensures that the saw blade thieves always push the edge bending towards the part. Milling style streamlines automated milling setup by applying not only the tool, but also the other associated options. Now let's examine pre-mill allowance using a 100mm length of a part as an example. Let's illustrate with a 2mm edge bending example. When applied in the on top position, the part length increases by 2mm. Pre-mill allowance have no effect. Now let's explore the scenario with sunk edge bending. As observed, the workpiece size decreased by the thickness of the edge bending. When the edge bending is applied, it remains flush with the model edge. Lastly, let's consider a sunk edge bending with premill allowance set to 1 mm. Now the workpiece decreases only by difference between the thickness of the edge bending and the premill allowance value. The remaining 1 mm will be removed by the milling tool of edge bending machine. By utilizing premill allowance option, the final geometry just before applying the edge bending appears the same as in case of sunk edge bending. When we apply the edge bending, it will be flush with the edge. Woodwork takes into account the premill allowance settings and performs the saw cutting operation, leaving 1 mm for the milling tool of the edge bending machine. Lead-in and lead-out type and size parameters can now be specified for a finishing contour of the pocket operation, resulting in a smoother finishing contour compared to direct lining. With the new version of Woodwork, you can print the entire set of nesting labels in a single operation. The starting point for processing the nesting contour can be defined in a material editor, as either the midpoint of the longest contour element or a corner vertex. To prevent the movement of small parts, you can select the onion skin or bridges options. The nesting pieces that will be secured using these methods can be defined by area or dimensions. The nestlet contour calculation algorithm has been enhanced to address challenges such as slanted edges and side tenants. Users can now have three options. They can utilize the legacy fast algorithm, employ the new detailed algorithm for complex cases or allow the system to default to the fast algorithm and switch to the more precise but slower one if needed. As you've seen, there are many new features. To help you understand how they work, we updated our manual providing in-depth information on their functionality. As we finish up, we are happy to share the new features. These changes make woodworking easier and more accurate. Thank you for choosing Woodwork for Inventor. Good luck. Bye-bye.